Do you often find yourself overthinking? It's a common occurrence for many of us. This constant churning of thoughts like a relentless hamster wheel in our minds can be quite draining. It's like trying to navigate through a dense fog with no clear direction, leaving us feeling stuck, anxious, and overwhelmed. Overthinking robs us of our present, chaining us to imagined futures or past regrets. It's a mental whirlwind that can spiral us down into a vortex of anxiety and stress, damaging our mental health and preventing us from truly living in the now. But what if I told you there's a way to escape this tiresome cycle? A way to unshackle ourselves from the chains of overthinking? Well, there is. It's a technique that can help us break free from the cycle of overthinking. It's called the ACT technique of cognitive diffusion. Cognitive diffusion is a technique that teaches us to observe our thoughts without attachment. This is a phrase you might have heard, but what does it really mean? Let's dive in. Cognitive diffusion is a concept born from acceptance and commitment therapy, or ACT. It's a psychological approach that encourages us to see our thoughts as what they really are, just thoughts. You see, our minds are storytelling machines constantly churning out narratives. Sometimes these narratives can be helpful. They can motivate us, guide us, or even protect us. But when we start to overthink, these narratives can become overwhelming. We may start to believe that these thoughts are facts or worse, threats. This is where cognitive diffusion comes in. Cognitive diffusion asks us to step back and observe our thoughts rather than being swept away by them. It's not about changing or stopping our thoughts, but rather changing our relationship with them. Instead of attaching value or emotion to our thoughts, we simply notice them. We acknowledge their presence like clouds passing in the sky, but we don't let them dictate our actions or emotions. Think of it as watching a movie. When you're engrossed in a film, you're absorbed in the story. You feel the emotions of the characters and react to the plot, twists. But at the end of the day, you know it's just a movie. The events on the screen don't have to affect your reality. Cognitive diffusion is about developing that same perspective with our thoughts. The key here is distance. By creating a space between ourselves and our thoughts, we can reduce their impact. We can observe them, acknowledge them, but we don't have to react to them. This is the essence of cognitive diffusion. So the next time you find yourself trapped in a whirlwind of overthinking, remember this. Your thoughts are just thoughts. They are not facts, they are not threats, they are not you. And with cognitive diffusion, you can learn to observe them without attachment. When we diffuse from our thoughts, we reduce their impact, helping us to stop the cycle of overthinking. Applying cognitive diffusion is a step-by-step -step process. This process is like learning to dance. It can feel awkward and challenging at first, but with practice, it becomes more natural and even enjoyable. The first step is to observe your thoughts. Instead of getting tangled up in them, try to step back and watch them as if they were leaves floating down a river. This might feel strange at first, but it's a key part of cognitive diffusion. You're not trying to change or stop your thoughts, just to observe them. Next, try labelling your thoughts. If you notice yourself thinking, I'm not good enough, you might label that as a self-criticism thought. If you're worrying about the future, that's an anxiety thought. Labeling your thoughts helps you separate yourself from them. They are not you, they are just thoughts. The third step is to notice how your thoughts affect you. Do they make you feel anxious, sad, angry? Remember, it's not the thoughts themselves that cause these feelings, but your reactions to them. By observing your thoughts without judgment, you can reduce their impact on your emotions. The fourth step is to practice letting your thoughts go. Imagine each thought is a leaf floating down a river. You can watch it float by without trying to grab it or change its course. This takes practice, but over time, it can become easier. The fifth step is to bring your attention back to the present moment. What can you see, hear, smell, taste and touch right now? By focusing on the present, you can reduce the power of your thoughts over your emotions and behaviors. Finally, remind yourself of your values. What's truly important to you? By focusing on your values, you can guide your actions and reduce overthinking. Remember, the goal of cognitive diffusion is not to change or eliminate thoughts, but to change our relationship with our thoughts. It's about learning to dance with them, 
rather than wrestling against them. And like any dance, it takes practice to get the steps right, but with time and patience, you can learn to stop overthinking and start living more fully in the present moment. Cognitive diffusion has numerous benefits. Indeed, this technique can be a game changer for your mental health. One of the most noticeable benefits is a reduction in anxiety. By observing our thoughts without attachment, we can diminish their power over us, reducing the anxiety that often accompanies overthinking. Cognitive diffusion also paves the way for improved mental health overall. It allows us to step back from the exhausting cycle of overthinking, providing mental rest and rejuvenation. It's like a breath of fresh air for the mind, providing clarity and space for more positive thought patterns. But perhaps the most transformative benefit is the increased ability to live in the present moment. Cognitive diffusion teaches us not to dwell on the past or worry about the future, but to simply observe and acknowledge our thoughts as they occur. This practice promotes a more mindful, present-focused existence, free from the constraints of overthinking. With practice, cognitive diffusion can guide us to a more present and less anxiety-driven existence. Let's take a moment to recap what we've learned. We've journeyed through the realm of overthinking and discovered a powerful tool to combat it. Cognitive diffusion, a cornerstone of the ACT technique. We've learned that instead of tussling with our thoughts or obsessing over potential outcomes, cognitive diffusion teaches us to observe our thoughts without attachment. We explored how to apply this technique by labeling and noticing thoughts as just thoughts, creating a healthy distance between us and our mental processes, thus reducing their impact. We also delved into the benefits of cognitive diffusion, realizing that knowing how to stop overthinking isn't about wrestling with our inner dialogue. It's about shifting our focus to what truly aligns with our values, freeing us from the exhausting cycle of overthinking. Remember, Knowing how to stop overthinking doesn't mean engaging in a struggle with our inner dialogue, but rather shifting our attention to what truly aligns with our values. This is the essence of cognitive diffusion.